Hey guys, I just finished a leg workout. Came back from a deload week, so I'm starting to slowly build back up to a peak again. I'm gonna do a six week cycle, which is very short. I usually do 10 weeks. This is gonna be a six week cycle where I'll peak in six weeks, deload for a week or 10 days, and then I got a big 10, 10 12 week cycle I'm gonna be doing, getting ready for the Michigan Powerlift Championships in March. It's crazy how quick time goes when you look at your cycles. There's not many you get in in a year. You really don't get that much training in in a year in a cycle. Really, you got to maximize it. Anyway, someone asked me the other day, how do you know what weight class you're going to compete in in powerlifting or bodybuilding? It seems like a simple question. Now I weigh this much, I'll be in this weight class. But you know what? It's pretty complicated sometimes. And I'll tell you why. I'll give you an example. When I did the, uh, I was getting ready to do the Junior USA's in 2003. Two weeks before the Junior USA's, I won the heavyweight class in the overall in the uh, Battle of Champions, NPC Battle of Champions in Covington, Kentucky. I looked amazing. I was like 205, 204, full, big. I think it's the best I ever looked. Even when I won the Ohio, I didn't look that good. And uh, so I had two weeks to get ready. Now, the heavyweight class starts at 198 and a quarter to 225 and a quarter. The light heavyweight class, the ceiling is 198 and a quarter, right? So I was thinking to myself, am I going to be a heavyweight in the junior USAs or am I going to be a light heavyweight? Because I was only six pounds away from being a light heavyweight. And I decided it's better to be a big light heavyweight at the top of your class than a small heavyweight at the bottom of the heavyweight class, right? So I decided to cut a little bit more, which is easy to do. Water is easy to cut. I mean, four pounds is nothing. So I cut down to 98, and I ended up getting down to like 195. I wanted to be super ripped for the for the June, for the USA's because I know at nationals it's all about conditioning. It is at every level, but especially at nationals, your conditioning's got to be on point. I don't give a damn how big you are. If you're not conditioned, you're not going to place. So <clears throat> I cut back and I showed up at the Junior USA's. I looked good. You know, I was happy with my conditioning. Came in, took seventh place. Um, wasn't happy with seventh, obviously, but you know, it, it is what it is. So I couldn't help but think though, if I would have went heavyweight and came in like a 206, 207, I would have definitely looked better. It was a lesson learned. I might have, would I have won the heavyweight class? I don't know. I don't remember who was in it. That's This is 2003. It's 20 years ago. A long time ago. So, my point is, is sometimes it's not always clear what weight class to go in. Unless you're like, you know, some guys that are super heavies weigh 230 and they got all this space because super heavy is unlimited, right? You're not so worried. It's more just about how you're looking. You don't have to worry about what you weigh in at. And I, 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 I now look at it this way. It's the same with powerlifting. You know, some guys will diet, cut down to 98 to make that class, and they'll cut a lot. I know, like, John Hack talks about cutting 10, 15 pounds before going. He's a two, he's, he walks around like 210, 215, and then he cuts down to 97, 98 to get in the, to make weight. And then he puts up huge numbers, which obviously works for him. But if, if, if you're going down a class and trying to cut just to go down a class and it's six or seven pounds and it makes a big difference on your strength, I say don't do it. Stay in the upper class and be as strong as you can be. That's my belief. That's my philosophy. The same with bodybuilding. Go with what you look best at. If you look great at 204, man, go heavyweight. If you look amazing at 204, go heavyweight. Why cut that extra six pounds, lose your fullness, risk losing some... Um, density and fullness in the muscles to go down a weight class and you might get smoked down there another guy might be you know better than you and I'm just saying that that's my advice is it's not always so easy so when if you're doing your first show and you're thinking okay I'm 12 weeks out I weigh 200 pounds you could be a light heavy you could be a little middleweight it just depends on your conditioning at that time and that's where you need a coach or a good friend or partner that really knows your physique, that can really monitor you while you're cutting, because you don't want to make the mistake of being in the wrong weight class. It can be it can be the difference between winning a show and losing one. Trust me, I've seen it happen. 
so my advice is is to your first show is tricky because you're kind of not sure where you're gonna end up if you've never dieted hard before you cut your water at the end and you see where you're at after you do your first show you have a pretty good gauge of where you're gonna be at it's the same with powerlifting very similar it's not about conditioning and powerlifting it's just about making weight right and how you're where you're strong is at but I get asked that a lot and it's it's kind of tricky and some guys play with it you know they'll I've seen guys in powerlifting do 198, and the next meet they're at 220, you know, and they keep going up. Generally, as you progress in powerlifting or bodybuilding, you'll tend to go up weight classes because you get bigger every year. You start gaining size, you get stronger, you get bigger. So it's, it's the natural progression is to go up in weight classes, you know, over time, most of the time. Not everybody, but most of the time, you know, I progressed up. I started late, though, so I started a light heavy. I ended up light heavy heavyweight it would depend you know um it just depends on what my conditioning was how i was feeling there's a lot of things that go into that so sometimes you know i, I think i look better as a heavyweight than i did a light heavyweight that's my opinion but that's the judges don't always agree with that so um but it's all about conditioning remember that for bodybuilding but in picking your weight class um i always say go with the weight class where you look your best don't worry about your weight now, some people disagree with that, but that's just my belief. I go, if I'm 204 pounds and I look amazing, I'm full, I'm peeled, I'm, everything's rocking and rolling, I'm, I'm right on point, why the hell would I cut down eight pounds or six pounds to go down to light heavyweight when I look that good at heavyweight? You might, you might cut that six and it might just absolutely flatten you out and you look like shit. That's the risk. So for me, I say go with where you look your best. That's what I do. That's my advice. It's the same with powerlifting. I go with where I'm my strongest. I'm strongest at 220, not 98 for sure for me. I'm going to lose strength dropping down to 98. I can't make 98 anyway. 220, I may even be 242 in this next meet. I may weigh in at like 230-something, right? I'm still a ways away from the top of that class, but um, you got to go where you're strongest at. However... If you're trying to break a national record in powerlifting or state record and you can cut and you can get down there and you can break, that's a whole different metric. You know, that's a different story. Um, that's a different goal. It's a different story. But for, for guys in bodybuilding especially, go with a class you look your best in, man. That's my advice. And you'll grow into that class. You may, not everybody jumps into to heavyweight at the top of the class. Very few guys that are competing in heavyweight are 225 and a quarter. Most of them are falling in the middle of that class, 210, 209, 211. That's my experience with what I've seen. So don't worry about being a full 225. You know what I'm saying? So that's, don't get into the weight. The scale can really mess you up. Uh, I've seen guys at light, at heavyweight win the class at 202 pounds. Beat a guy that's 220 because of conditioning, you know? Um, so keep that in mind. Keep in mind how you're looking, not how much you weigh. If you look great at 202, 203, stay at heavyweight. If you look terrible, I mean, if you're holding water at 202, then obviously you drop down to light heavyweight. It's the same with other classes, middleweight, lightweight, whatever. That's my advice. So I just wanted to, I get asked that question a lot about what I did, and that's my experience with it. At the Junior USAs, I'd have been better as a heavyweight than light heavyweight. Lesson learned, you know. Write that one down. Make a mental note, right? So anyway... Leave a comment or if you've had a similar experience or something that you uh, want to add to this conversation about making weight classes and how you did it and um, what you maybe advise people to do. It's always a good thing. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get this channel to grow and uh, we can get more and more interesting things uh, on the channel as we get more popularity and get more people involved so that's always a good thing anyway guys today is a big day i'm getting i'm bolting down my power rack with concrete bolts to my floor <laughs> so i'm going to be doing that this morning i probably won't make a video because it'd be kind of boring so i won't do that I won't bore you with that but i'm going to be doing that that's my excitement for the day it's getting my power rack bolted down and check out my video on my power rack i did a video on it yesterday it's up and the tour of my home gym. Check that out, it's pretty cool. And uh, I will wish y'all a great day. Get that good workout in, feed the machine, grow, get better, feel better, be better, all that. There was a guy named Thomas Plummer, I'll leave you with a quote he gave me. 
he owned a gym, lots of gyms, very successful gym owner. He's long passed away. Owned a whole chain of gyms. He used to, his motto to his customers was like this. He said, whatever you do in life, I'll help you do it better. And what he was saying basically is, is working out and being healthy, training, whether it's cardio, weightlifting, I have to believe weightlifting is the best form of cardio and training in the world. It's going to make you better in your in your regular everyday life. It's never a negative to be strong. Never. You'll never find a negative part of your life where being strong and powerful is a bad thing. It's great to be strong. Great to be strong. You can move mountains, you know. And also for your mental. The gym is great for mental. You get out of the gym, I feel like I did yoga and I've never done yoga. Don't need it. But when I get out of the gym, I'm relaxed. Totally. Totally relaxed. Stress is gone. Tension has gone. And that's another big thing, the mental aspect of it. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. Keep training hard and reaching those goals. And uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow.